Hi there and welcome to our last lesson in our P5 Space for Reflection topic and today we're going to be looking at uh, optics mainly focusing on lenses looking at how we can use lenses in cameras and how we can use lenses in projectors uh, we'll also be focusing on some ray diagrams there's no pun intended on that focusing <laughs> uh, so yeah anyway I'll uh, let you look at our objectives for this lesson I'll see you at the end bye bye so our objectives for our lesson today is by the end of this lesson you should know and understand uh, what happens when light travels through a convex lens and how convex lenses can be used to create an image okay so first of all we're going to look at what a convex lens actually is now if we look at this diagram here this is what a convex lens looks like so we've got this uh, basic shape where the glass is actually going outwards now when we shine light into the convex lens it will be shining in in a straight line so it doesn't matter where the light is coming from it will hit in a straight line now what that will do is that will cause the light to refract so the light here will go straight through as it's hitting on the normal line whereas the light here will refract like so and then the light from here will refract as well let me uh, just alter that slightly and so on now what happens is that all the light traveling in a straight line will actually meet at this point and this is what we call convergence and this happens at the focal point now the length from the lens to the focal point so from here to here is known as the focal length so how does this actually work now I'm just going to clear the screen and it's easy to focus on this if we break the lens down into a smaller or a load of sections of different glass now if we were to have a look at the light traveling here now when it hits the the light it hits at 90 degrees so there is no refraction here now if we put normals on the other lines as the line hits as the light hits the the glass it's going to be refracted and refracted again and the same is going to happen at each of these various points so that's how it actually happens now there are two main uses for convex lenses uh, these can be used in cameras and in projectors now what they do is they create a real image on a screen now in the case of a camera it's at the back or behind the lens so that could be on the film or on the on the chip in the uh, digital camera whereas in a projector it's in the front of the of the screen now if we look here at the camera we can see here that we've got the the light being given off in straight lines here and here now what it does is it's refracted through so again we've got the hitting at 180 so there's no uh, refraction here uh, and then there's refraction here and it creates our image here now don't forget that we don't just have the light coming from here it's going to be coming from all over so this is how we create our image on the bottom here or behind on the chip so if we compare that with a projector now this is our light source so we've got the light coming out from here and it's being refracted here 
and it's been refracted here and then we've got the straight line where there's no refraction now one of the things you'll notice with both of these is that the image is inverted it's an upside down image on both the projector and on the on the camera now magnification in order to calculate this it's a very very simple equation and that is the image size is divided by the object size so we can have a look at an example here so if you have an image size of five millimeters and a object size of two millimeters you will end up with a magnification of 2.5 now the other thing to notice here is the units now because you divide here millimeters by millimeters they cancel each other out so there are no units for magnification okay now what we've got here is the setup for how we can actually draw ray diagrams here now on here we've got our convex lens and then we've got two bits of information uh, one in front of the lens which is f which is the focal length and then we've got the focal length at the back and then further on we've got 2f which is two times the focal length so what we're going to look at is what happens when we have objects at various stages here so we've added o which is going to represent our object now what's going to happen is when our object is uh, shines its light it's going to do it uh, two ways now the first way is it's going to shine it so it goes at 180 degrees in a straight line straight through the middle of the of the lens now the second thing that it's going to do is it's going to shine light to hit the lens and then it's going to refract now we can see on this diagram that when our object is two focal lengths in front of the lens we will create a real image two focal lengths behind the lens okay so two focal lengths we create our focal point two focal lengths behind now if we move our object so it is between the focal length and two focal lengths then we get a slightly different uh, image so here we go through at 180 we hit the lens and then we get that refraction now that creates a focal point that is further away than two focal lengths so our image here is beyond our two focal length part now if we bring our object in so it's at one focal length if we draw our line going through our lens and then draw our line to be refracted now we can see here that the two lines here although it might not be particularly accurate in this diagram but they are running parallel so you can see that these two lines will never meet so if the focal length is one of the object then we will not create a real image now the last one we are going to look at is slightly different because we are looking at it from a, a slightly different way and this is what the way we create a virtual image now here we've got our object which is between zero and one focal length now what that means is that our image is up here okay so we've got our eyeball here watching now this means that the light that we are having shine is coming from here and 
from here which means we create a virtual image and that virtual image is up here So if we look at our penultimate one where we've got our object that's less than a focal length in front, we actually create a virtual image and this is where the image will be in front of the lens. So we have our light from the object going like so and this creates our image here which is obviously in front of in front of the lens and this is where we get our virtual image from okay so we have looked at uh, various different ways of using convex lenses we've looked at how we can get them for cameras how we can get them for uh, projectors and how we can actually create the ray diagrams to see where the images are created whether it's a virtual image um, or a real image now the real image will be on the opposite side of the of the lens so on here we've got the image there that's shining the light and that's creating the real image in the back of my of my eyes whereas with a virtual image it would be like a projector like you might see in in the classroom anyway i hope you've enjoyed this and i will see you next time take care bye bye